You're listening to Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio 93.2 FM with me, Susie Casson and T-Boy. And we're joined in the studio by Fran Halsall, <laughs> hope I've said it right, from Sheffield Woodland Connections. Welcome, Fran. Hi. Thanks for coming in. So, can you tell us first a little about your previous work as a photographer? Uh, well, I worked for a decade as a landscape photographer, um, which uh, was a result of my uh, lifelong interest in nature. Um, so I did that for many years, was a writer and contributed to some magazines. Um, unfortunately, I had to retire myself early due to ill health. Um, but I've been all around the British Isles and my particular passions are woodland and geology. So, Fantastic. So which were your favourite parts of Sheffield for photographing? Well, I'm a very fond of the Dark Peak. Um, it's a very wild and rugged landscape. So most of it, really. I mean, Kinder Scout, obviously, because there's some very um, nice bits um, of rock up there. But sort of closer towards Sheffield, around um, some of the edges like Higator, Millstone Edge, all the classic bits. So there's lots of lovely bits of sandstone and heather moorland up there, yeah. lots of birch trees. Yeah, we're very lucky, aren't we? We are very lucky. Yeah. Great, so you're part of Sheffield Woodland Connections. Can Indeed. you tell us what that is? So it's a group of uh, five alumni from um, University of Sheffield's Landscape Department and we've all come together to celebrate and promote the aims of the uh, Woodland Trust Charter for Trees, Woods and People. And so that is a charter that's been launched later this year and um, it was decided of, um, that we should do a creative event to try and promote what they were, um, the aims of the charter. Um, and so um, we've come together and we've organised these walks to go around Eccles Hall Woods. Yeah, fantastic. So that's the event, is, is that on Sunday? It is, in, yes. Uh, there's one walk taking place at 10.30 and then another at 2.30. Great. And is there a cost involved? No, it's very free. It's uh, first come, first serve, though, so it's uh, limited to 25 people per walk. Great. And is it for all ages? Um, it's not really specifically aimed at kids because um, there's quite a little bit of walking involved, um, but also so we're trying to sort of, you know, um, educate people at a certain level. So it might go above a li- few kids' heads, but if, I, I would say if they've got a real interest in nature, then do bring them along because they'll probably understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And do people need to bring anything with them? Uh, no, um, although I am encouraging people if they've got one lying around to bring um, a tape measure, a fabric tape measure with them because then they can measure some tree trunks to see um, whether they can find any potential veteran trees by measuring the girth. Fantastic, so that's on Sunday. Um, how did you first become involved with Sheffield Woodland Connections? Well, it was me that actually initially set up the group with um, uh, my friend and colleague uh, Christine Furring and uh, we uh, originally set it up um, last year in order to react to uh, the uh, Woodland Trust call for creative people and anybody with an interest in education about woodland to come together to uh, make creative events that would involve people and get people to come to their local woods whilst also promoting the aims of the charter and importantly gathering signatures because every signature on the charter um, helps their case to promote woodland in this country but also it means that a tree gets planted every time there's a signature collected. That sounds great. So can you tell us in a bit more detail about the tree charter what it is okay so it's um, come about in this year because um, at the end of this year it will be the 800th anniversary of the original uh, charter of the forest which was a companion document document for the magna carta which was about restoring um, the commoners rights to the woodland which had been something that had been uh, eroded in the wake of the norman conquest so um, it's a particular timely moment in history to reconnect people with woodlands, uh, remind people of the historical um, linked fortunes of people in woodlands, and to also um, put the agenda of woodlands front and centre in our culture and all discussion. So the, um, the uh, agreements, the ten aims that the char- charter is putting across are actually going forward to inform policy and uh, maybe make a difference in the future in how our woodlands are um, treated. Yeah, great. And we often hear the phrase ancient woodlands. What does that mean exactly? Well, an ancient woodland is a, a woodland that can be traced on a map back to 1600. So that's commonly when maps started to be regularly um, drawn up in this country. Um, and it's also an indication of the fact that the soils within that woodland have a, uh, a, a soil stock which has been relatively undisturbed um, and by human industry within woodland. So that you will find a typical ancient woodland indicator species like bluebells, for example, and also also uh, wood anemones, but there's many, many others. Um, then we have uh, semi-natural ancient woodlands like Eccles Hall Wood itself and many um, woodlands uh, which have been partly modified, so they will have been planted with non-native species at some point in their history in order to uh, promote timber production, but essentially they've still got many of the ancient species that you'd expect to find. Yeah, and we seem to have a lot of ancient woodlands in this area. 
Um, yeah, we've got quite a fair few uh, semi-natural ancient woodlands. Um, you could say um, that's partly because some of the ones that we do have that have been less modified are the ones in the more difficult to access terrain. So if it's on steep terrain, then it probably won't have uh, undergone the industrialisation process. It will have been left as a woodland. Great. So the walks on Sunday are Eccles Hall Woods. Can you describe what the woods are like for someone who hasn't been yet? Well, we're very lucky with Ecclesall Woods because it's the largest semi-natural ancient woodland in South Yorkshire. So it covers a range of habitats. Um, there's some drier areas. Um, there's lots of oak trees. Um, there's lots of chest- sweet chestnut, which were actually introduced species. Uh, so it's good for conkers. Um, there's an, a good display of bluebells every year, but you'll find other um, less um, common indicator species there as well and also it has some uh, riverside habitats which are very um, uh, species rich very lots of different types of plants you'll find in that area right. and as we say with lots of wooded areas in sheffield what benefits do they bring to the city uh, well, there's the obvious environmental benefit, which comes in the form of, um, obviously, they give us oxygen. That's a good start. They also um, take up carbon, so um, it's one of the cheapest ways we can uh, reduce our carbon problem. Uh, they reduce pollution, they help reduce um, urban um, temperatures. They can help a little bit with the mitigation of floods by um, reabsorbing water uh, through their ro- roots. Um, generally, they are good for people to be around. There are so many studies now that... Um, Uh, show the positive link between people spending time in woodland and the leisure activities associated with that and beneficial outcomes for their health and also their mental well-being. Yeah, and there's so much to learn as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The more we understand, the more we'll appreciate that. Absolutely, they're fascinating and complex environments. Probably, you could argue, the most complex um, environment that you find left in this country. (laughs) Wonderful. So can you remind us about the event on Sunday, isn't it, the... It is, yes. So um, we're meeting at um, the uh, Discovery Centre at Eccles Hall Woods. We've got a little stall just inside the building and you can come and meet us there um, just before 10.30 or just before 2.30 or indeed come down at any other time of day. There'll be somebody on the stall at any time so you can come and ask more about the tree charter or just find out more more about woodland um, generally. And if you can't uh, get on this walk, say there's too many people, which is a nice problem to have, um, then there will be a uh, repeat of the walk later in the year. But we haven't got a date yet, but it's looking like it's going to be October. And it's absolutely free. Absolutely free. And and bring a tape measure. Yeah, bring a tape measure and possibly some wellies as well, weather dependent. (laughs) Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks very much, Fran.